Good afternoon, Tigers, and welcome to Tiger Vision News for Thursday, March 8th. I'm Michaela, and this is my co-host, Casey. Thanks for joining us today. Today, we're going to start off our show by interviewing a few of the band students that were selected for Outstanding Band Students of the fourth six weeks. Ms. Bearden selects students that have been working hard to progress both their knowledge of music and their instrument as Outstanding Band Students. Here's more. Hi, I'm Taylor here with Bree. What instrument do you play? Flute. How long have you been playing your instrument? Since the beginning of sixth grade. How much practice do you put into practicing your instrument? I'd say a lot. Hi, I'm Jack here with Sunshine. What instrument do you play in band? Um, I play percussion. How long have you been playing, playing that instrument? This is my first year. Here's a look at the full list of outstanding band students for the fourth six weeks. And good luck to all of our band students as they compete in the UIL this week. We know you'll do great. Now it's time to interview a teacher and find out where they went to college. Hi, I'm here with... Mr. Mather Schmidt and Little Red. Where did you go to college? i give you one guess. Texas Tech! Texas Tech. Texas Tech. Why did you choose Texas Tech as a college? Do you really want to know the truth? Yes. Okay, um, this is what happened. I was in Germany, and you want to hold Little Red for a second? I'm sure. And I applied to about 20 different colleges. I really did. And I went home and put all the contracts when they accepted me on a table, and I pulled out a quarter, and I flipped a coin. Actually, it was in Germany, so it wasn't a quarter. It was a German. But I flipped it, and if it was heads, it would stay. Tails would be in the trash. So I ended up with two colleges. I went to the post office and had both colleges in an envelope and I flipped another coin and I threw one in the trash and I ended up at Texas Tech. <laughs> what do you enjoy most about college? Honestly, um, the college life was fun. You know, even though I was older than most college students, it was still an exciting time and I learned a lot and I improved and it gave me the ability to get a job. Thank you. You're welcome. Say bye, Big Red. Bye. We'll be right back after these messages. So Clayton, have you heard about the lost and found? Yeah, man, there's all sorts of codes and stuff there, man. It's I just know. crazy. Words hurt. Don't cyberbully. Welcome back to Tiger Vision News. Hey, we know some place you can get some really neat stuff. It's the book fair. Miss Ammons has all sorts of books and goodies that will keep you entertained for hours. Tomorrow is the last day of the book fair, so be sure to go by before time runs out. Now we're going to announce the names of the winners from the limbo contest at the book fair. To qualify, these students successfully passed under the limbo bar and were placed into a drawing. A total of 103 students were limbered and made it. The following won the drawing. Sixth graders. Brandon Marino, Ethan Wright, Ashley Pierkett, Carden Merrill, Tyson Clough, and Faith Hart Hatfield. Seventh graders are Jan Wilson, Anthony LaFuente, Kara Flores, Mackenzie Koch, Marcos, Marcus Soto, and Aline Martinez. 
Eighth graders, Tucker K, Addison Job, Johnny Tello, Destiny Carrion, Tori Pereira, and Adelina Guerrero. All of these students need to come by the li library by noon on Friday to pick out their free book. Congratulations. Tomorrow will be free seating Friday during lunch. That's right. For one dollar, you'll get to sit anywhere you like during lunch. All money raised is going to help out the PTA. That's all the announcements we have today. Let's check in with Greg and see what our forecast looks like. Hello, FMS. I'm Greg, here with your weather. Your current conditions is 45 degrees, partly cloudy, winds north 17 miles an hour, and a 10% chance of rain. And the five-day forecast is going to be really sunny on Sunday and Monday, but Friday, Saturday, and Tuesday is going to be really cloudy. That's your weather. Back to you. Thanks, Greg. Now let's take a look at sports. Hello, FMS sports fans. I'm Colt, and this is Keenan, and here's a look at today's sports. Yesterday afternoon, our JV tennis team played the Heritage Tigers. Let's take a look at the result of the match. Next tennis matches for our JV tennis team will be after spring break. They'll take a place March 21st when our Tigers play the Evans Eagles. The match will be played at Evans and will start at 4 o'clock. Turning to track news, both the boys and girls will finish up their track meet this afternoon. Our athletes are looking forward to bringing home the gold from the meet. That's a look at today's sports. Back to you. Well, that's all we have today. Thanks for watching Tiger Vision News.